Yeah, I know. I understand. Okay. Okay. Well, Keith David, we have not met before, I, so I, I will ask you straight away, is Keith David your real name? Yes. Uh, it's not my full name, but that is my real name. All right. You don't say what your last name is? or uh, Williams. My full name is Keith David Williams. Uh-huh. But even when you were uh, starting as an actor, you always worked under Keith David? Um, no, I started, um, I think I changed my name now, but about seven years ago, about seven years ago. And that was because it was Keith Williams in the union already, so I had to change my name. And of course, David Keith, the and actor. Course, yes. Right, because one time I thought of calling myself David Keith, of course that was out because <laughs> there was one already. All the good names were taken. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with Keith David. Um, this if, is your second film, if right. the information I have is correct. Okay. Um, and I do remember seeing you in The Thing. Um, this, of course, is such a strenuous, arduous film. Even actors who do action pictures all the time, I'm sure, felt that this was just the most strenuous thing they could ever do. Were there ever days, Keith, when you sort of longed for that nice, quiet, sane atmosphere of the theater? <laughs> um... Uh, no, I mean I, I mean I love the theater, um, but I didn't I didn't miss it because depending on what theater you're working at at any given time, it's not any more sane than the environment that I was in. So uh, I mean it was a I didn't have any complaints about being there. Was a, as far as the physical hardship, what's the worst day you spent in the Philippines? I think the worst day I spent was one day we were on, uh, the, the captain had given command of the platoon to the lieutenant. And, I mean, he had only had a couple of days of map training at best. So we, he was taking us out on this patrol. And he took us about 12 clicks out of the way. And so hot and tired and sweaty, we're all like, look, where are we going? What, I mean, uh, uh, if you don't know where you're going, you better ask somebody, you know. It, was, it got to be a little testy after a while. Um, you know, at, at the time, I remember thinking, you know, I'm, I don't really mind the walk that much, you know, because, I, you know, it's helping me to get in shape, and I wanted, I wanted to be in good shape. But I was getting tired, you know, and I was like, look, man, you know, uh, I want to sit down for a minute. So look, let's. Uh, so finally, you know, we took a we took a break and we sat down for a second. But that, I mean, it was like on mass. We all kind of like got like uh, quite testy because like if you're lost, why don't you find out where we're going before we start walking any further? You know, because it's it's getting uh, it's hot out here, man. You know, it's getting rough. <laughs> so. Of course, you're too young to know too much about the Vietnam War, even from the the reports, but. Um, could you ever, Keith, have imagined that that war could be as bad as all that, as it's portrayed in the film? Um, I'm sure it's even a lot worse than that. Um, I, I, I never thought it was a bed of roses, for to coin a bad phrase, but. Um, and this did help me to understand a lot better what some of the actualities are. But I was acting. And I know that the actual experience of being there was nothing like what, you know, you know like my experience in acting it. I mean, sure, watching it, I, we get that sense that, yes, it was hell and it was, it was it was, you know, not easy, it was hard, it was all that stuff. But um, when I look at the vet, I do not in any way, shape, or form, you know, begin to um, equate my experience with his, because I know that that actuality was a lot worse. Were you aware before you started making the film, through maybe just conversations that you've heard or just general knowledge, 
that there was as much racism in Vietnam as apparently there was. Were you aware yeah, of that? Yeah, I, I was aware of that. I think I was aware of that. I mean, it was, and that was also sort of difficult to deal with because, you know, uh, if you're in this together, you, you might as well, you know, try to do something. I mean, I don't, you don't have to like me, just respect me. I don't care whether you like me or not. Just don't disrespect me. Uh, and I think that um, largely, overall, that that did begin to happen. I mean, you could, then you, you can deal with the racial aspect of it back at camp, but while we're out here, you gotta, you know, let's just deal and take, you know, make sure that we can get out of this. Then we can take care of that other thing. Right, as the film indicates some of the dialogue, you know, that, that we are our own worst enemies, in other right. words, yeah. Well, Keith, you give a wonderful performance, and it's an absolutely spectacular film. My, what a powerful film. Okay. So uh, I'm sure I'll be seeing you again on future occasions like this. Oh, I hope so. Thanks so much. I enjoyed talking with you. Yes, indeed. Very nice interview. Joel. Sure. <laughs> mm. Keith, what is the worst day you had in the Philippines? Keith, what is the worst day you had when you were making this film in the Philippines? Were you aware of the racism before you got into the film? And I'll just give you reactions. Okay, thank you.